on this video, I'll be telling you a story about the RTS game genre and it will not be ending as you are expecting. For way too long have players steered away from RTS games and more towards battle royale games like Fortnite, PUBG, even Warzone. Even the core RTS fans moved over to playing MOBAs like Dota and League of Legends. So what happened to the core RTS fans who did not move over, especially the ones who were looking to play a competitive level of RTS games? The main esports scenes for RTS games was focused around StarCraft 2. Any other RTS title was insignificant compared to the blizzard scale of tournaments and support towards the esports scene. This was purely because of the player base and the optimization of the game, how smooth it was to play and the fast pacing that was very fun to watch for viewers. That's the reason Blizzard and ESL could host hundreds of thousands worth of tournaments in the big esports arenas. But StarCraft was also not the easy game to get into. In actual fact, all RTS games is not as inviting for casual players to join as the skill floor is quite high and the skill ceiling is even higher. Another question to ask. What other new big RTS games was actually available? We had a few RTS games that launched that did not entail any building, more just unit production micro tactics. But traditional classic RTS style games that has building, micro and macro aspects, Age of Empires, even the launches from number 3, 4 and all the remasters in between, the game had no luck. Even so the competitive side of those games was very slow paced, so this kind of game was not ideal for a grandstand for esports. The most popular version is still number 2 even with multiple launches that came after it. Warcraft 3 Remastered? Maybe? Nope, 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 nope. Not even going into this one as this was one of the biggest letdowns for me. I was hoping for something big but I just felt the studio was being lazy. Instead of launching something new and fresh, they launched something that were more broke than the original and nothing innovating at all. What happened to the creativity of the studios? Did the studios become lazy? Blizzard killed off the support for StarCraft and all RTS games from the company. So what hope was there for the RTS future? Ask yourself, when last was there a decent AAA RTS game that launched? So even if you are a diehard RTS game fan with no games launching, no new eSport competitive opportunities, what do you turn to then? Just the same old StarCraft? But this is about to change. Will 2023 be the year of RTS games? Will this be the end of the Battle Royale and MOBA games era? Will 2023 be the year that RTS games make a return? 2023 has got three main RTS games lined up and every single one of them seem to target the core classical RTS style games. First, Tempest Rising, the spiritual successor to the classic Command and Conquer Red Alert. Modern combat, classical warfare with tanks, infantry, flamethrowers and other realistic military equipment. From THQ Nordic and 3D Realms, Slipgate is busy developing a game that plays and looks like the next gen version of the classical Command and Conquer game. Playstyle, building and combat. Story wise, it will play a lot like a RPG with two single player campaigns with branching narrative stories, unique items that develops and unfolds based on the decisions you make. For competitive PvP multiplayer, there will be ranked PvP with a ELO ranking system and also custom skirmish matches. Tempest Rising will feature two unique factions and a third unannounced faction, each with its own unique unit roster and playstyle. I will leave a full link to the launch trailer and a 40 minutes of Gamescom gameplay trailer in the description below. So make sure to come back after you finish watching this video to check that links out because you do not want to miss the next two big RTS titles that will be launching. We are moving over to the next one, Stormgate, from a new studio, Frost Giants, who is stacked with experienced group of developers who all has huge experience and worked on projects from Blizzard and even games like Command & Conquer, Warcraft and Starcraft. Majority of the employees are all ex-employees at the above mentioned AAA studios. So they are coming with a vast amount of experience, knowledge and knowing how to launch the perfect RTS. Their plans are to launch the next big AAA RTS and they want to launch a truly social RTS. They say Stormgate is the future of RTS games. Free to play with no pay to win aspects. Unfortunately, very limited gameplay is available. Beta will only be available 
2023. But what I am expecting from Stormgate is a game that feels a lot like Warcraft 3 with hero based slower style RTS but with the classical 1v1 competitive esports and casual 3v3 team based matches. They will also feature a progressive co-op mode that will reward you and progress will carry over to the main game. A big aspect of Stormgate will also be the focus on social elements and making the game more approachable for newer and casual players. But still having a fully fledged esports and tournament functionality with rank ladder and leaderboard and even competitive esports events. I have a few videos already on my channel reviewing and giving my overview on the early stages of development of the game. So if you are looking for more information make sure after you finish watching this video to come back to this section and browse my full Stormgate library because the final RTS I have on my list is a hidden gem that will be launching to disrupt the RTS space. The next big RTS, Immortal Gates of Pyre, a Kickstarter project from the indie studio Sunspear Games. The game is currently in closed alpha and you're able to get early access and your playtest the alpha. I will leave a link in the card above and the description down below and if you want to jump in and know how to get access to our alpha code. Make sure to come back and click on this link. Immortal looks and the playstyle and pacing feels a lot like Starcraft with 5 unique races and also each race will have their own immortals who is godlike generals who is not a playable character but can completely change the faction's playstyle by casting strong abilities and each faction will have its unique set of immortals and vanguard units. Sunspear features a fully stacked slate of key iconic developers and key personnel who had a critical impact in the previous big RTS games like Starcraft, Tempo, Jack Attack, Toby the Kiwi and many more. Sunspear will also make use of some core RTS professional players as advisors to y'all get feedback and guide them in some crucial RTS decisions that could impact the game greatly. The biggest win that they have on their side is the open and inviting community, non-toxic and very welcoming, especially on the Discord channel. They want to offer a truly competitive eSport RTS with a lower skill floor that is inviting to casual and non-competitive players but still maintaining a high skill ceiling. I have a few videos already on my channel about Immortal and currently this is the most fun RTS I'm currently playing and really looking forward to this one. So make sure to check them out and I will leave a link in the description to the full playlist and how you can also jump in on Alpha Access to Immortal. Gates of Pyre. What RTS game are you currently looking forward to the most? Let me know in the comments below and if you want to find out more details on any of these RTS, make sure to check out the playlist that I'm leaving here now. This is Mr. Beefy signing off. Mr. Beefy!